Today, MTD CNC have travelled to Loftlock Precision Engineering in Reading. Jim, we've been here before to look at this Dugard machine. It was when you very first purchased it. That's so it's, right. it's more important to come back after you've had it a few months to see whether what you expected from it has actually, or it has actually delivered for you. Is that the case? I think so, yeah. I mean, we, we, the main reason we're buying it was uh, we needed a bigger envelope, but we didn't have the floor space available for a massive machine. So it kind of fits both bills, and it's been a great success. And, and the type of work you're, you're uh, machining on here? Uh, it's aerospace work and you know tight tolerance and it's been a, you know been very good been and very you mentioned good. to me earlier that because it's so quick you've managed to uh, get through a lot of the work you've got and you've got capacity on it as well we, we can definitely accommodate more business at the moment yes. good stuff jim I, i'm not saying you're not technical but i know this man behind me knows no, more no, about no, the machine than you so one of our set of operators about it okay okay thanks jim so bill Good to, thanks for giving us some time today. I'd like to explore a little bit more about this machine and, and from an operator's uh, perspective, what you like about it. Yeah. It's basically, the best thing about it is the table size. It's a 1300 bed and the table movement. It covers that area. So you've got a, a 1300 X axis on this machine. It might be a bit more than that, but you've also got quite a big Y yeah. axis and the envelope is good for holding larger parts. Yeah, it's very good for that sort of thing. Can we have a look at this part behind you here, yeah. Bill? Pick this one up, because this is one of the reasons you actually purchased the machine, isn't it? That particular job was one of the main reasons we got the machine, because before we couldn't have been able to do this in one hit, it would have been taken two hits. But so, now, so before you'd have had to have machine one half and then another half? That's right, yeah. But now, that, that would be bad for consistency, wouldn't it? Oh, well, yeah, definitely. And productivity, we'd have... So now with this Dugard SS1263 L, you can you can actually hold this component and machine it from one end to the other in the working envelope. We actually do two at a time on this one, this particular one, on a very big fixture which fits beautifully on the machine. So the envelope's one thing, but how fast are you machining this? What sort of spindle speeds and, and feed rates? Well, on this particular job, we're running at 10 to 12,000 RPM on a two meter feed rate. So. Okay, all right. And um, what about one of the uh, other parts here? Let's have a look, look at these. Uh, as Jim mentioned, you are heavily into your aerospace machining. Quite nice to be making parts like this, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. It's very interesting. Quite a challenge. And what, what this? Can you say what part of the aircraft this was? This is a helicopter crash seat. Okay, and again on the machining side of things, how fast are you machining it? It's same sort of feed rate, speed, spindle speeds. Do you do those? In, do you do more than one of those at a time on the machine? Yeah, we do two at a time on this machine. Yeah. So you, you, you're doubling up essentially. Yeah. Then there's one last part that I think we had on here as well. Isn't that? Yeah. Oh, you got it down below here. Are you are you machining this out of a, um, a solid billet? Yeah. A solid billet. Wow, there's some material to come out of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we we like the big the machine's quite a powerful machine and it's would you have any idea what sort of machining time to get down to that is uh, no for the first initial rough out it's half an hour to rough this out and then of course if you're finishing ops to take longer so on a job like that it's about a three hour cycle time but that is split between a lot of operations still you got a swarf conveyor in this machine. Yeah, it has a swarf conveyor. And the control on this machine, this is a Heidenhain, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. We find that it's a good, reliable system. So overall for you, out of 10, the Dugard 1263, what would you give it? I think I'll give it a 9. Very conservative estimation there. So as you can see, we're here at Loftlock Precision. They bought this machine. It was less than a year ago. We wanted to come back and just see how they were getting on with having a bigger working envelope on a high-speed machining centre. And it seems to have ticked all the boxes. And for Bill, he even scored it a 9 out of 10.